or if I'm losing if I'm losing to a red rink or if I'm losing to the god of destruction it makes no difference to me I still lost so hopefully these guys can keep their head head on straight and uh, they focus up because we got another winner's semifinals match here peeling going against Shinblade, first of two winner moves this on is, to winner's wow, finals one of this my is the one stages. we all saw coming come on come on come all right come on. Peeling catching Shinblade early, catches him trying to back off and create space, but you don't really want to do that against P Link, who's so evasive and so good at controlling spacing. Look at this sidewall damage, look at this pressure, and already, you know, Shinblade trying to get up, but being danced around. I was talking about this, we were talking about this in the run-up to this match, that the question will be how Shinblade Steve can adjust to such a defensive, evasive player like P. Ling on the Xiao Yu. And right now, the answer is not very well. Not a good start for Shinblade, especially getting caught by a lot of these strings right now, trying to play a little bit more uh, lateral movement. Oh, wow. Went straight into AOP right afterwards. No, not quick enough. Spring kick to get out of trouble. He's not going to be able to get a road for dope out of that situation. And another death miss to be able to close out that round. Peeling two rounds up here. That's a quick two rounds. Very, very quick. It looked like Shinblade froze up for a second there. I mean, these two are very familiar with each other. They fought again and again. So I'm not sure if he just wasn't expecting that to come out or was maybe having the mental stack freeze up for a second there. You can see him trying to bait something out, going for the back sway, trying to create some space wow. for Peeling to come in. Dude. Comes in, oh sees goodness. the spring kick coming. Finally gets back on the board, avoids the no-round brown, which would have been a big issue for morale in general and for momentum, and turning into a bit of a jabbing duel with this next round. Yeah, like I so said, the evasion from Peeling is what's uh, what he's known for, being real slippery with the Ling and the Lei Wulong back in Tekken 7. Nice punish mm -hmm. right there, it does a little pushy a little far back. It is launch punishable Special though, so Superman he can punch. try to get that, close that gap, close that distance. Oh, he's gonna be able to launch here. Oh no, wrong move. Eat Interesting this. thinking from Shinblade there. Ooh. Circles around to see what Peeling is going to do on the come up. Doesn't want to rush into something, potentially get caught on a spring kick or a get up kick or some other setup from Peeling. Wise to the fact that Peeling always seems to know how to pull something out. Yeah, he's starting to do a lot more lateral movement, starting to play a little bit more patient. You saw Code Red kind of doing the same thing, playing playing a little bit slower, mm -hmm. trying to whip punish a little bit more with the uh, almost like the back tempo like Feng Wei likes to have in, Le in Leo, mm -hmm. uh, using the Lionheart stance very similarly. Uh, obviously, not paying off right now though, because he's got a big life lead for peeling. Oh my goodness, he whiffs again off the Hypnotist. Nice back Yeah, the step. lateral movement. <laughs> A bit of the quasi DP coming out, the lateral movement, the patience, watching that wall come off. I mean, really just giving Peeling enough room to run wow. himself onto the spear. And that went from a very one sided game to Shinblade just running away from it. That is how fast the momentum can shift in Tekken. I'm telling you, man, it's all about who won the last round. It doesn't matter about anything. Who's gonna who's gonna be able to close it out? That's all that matters. Cause like I said, it looked like a really dominant two rounds for Peeling. We saw Shinblade made the adjustment, started to play a little bit slower, out range and outspace the Zhao Yu. Cause Zhao Yu doesn't have a really a, a, a very good uh, approach from range options. So uh, if you can kind of outspace her, you can really mitigate a lot of those uh, AOP and back turn stances. Pretty much make them useless. Definitely, and you can see a lot of that strategy coming in from Shinblade. A lot about forcing Peeling to Get press the button the first, because battle. Peeling is so defensive and so evasive. Forcing Peeling to take the initiative when they are much more comfortable making the second move. Alright, so here we go. We're going to a bigger stage. This is definitely going to be ben benefiting uh, Shinblade a little bit, especially if he's going to keep outspacing him like he's been doing. Lateral movement, doing a really good job. Smash! Rocket launcher. What you gonna mm -hmm. do? Oh, punch bear. That's what you're gonna do. Good Interesting call. thinking from Peeling Damn, there. Good call. Bitch. Oh my goodness. He's gonna be dead. Nothing he could do there. The, like I said, the Lionheart just it puts you at such a good range where it's almost like a back tempo step that when he went for mm. the throw, he's able to easily whip punish with the uh, Lionheart too. Whoa. Wow, the last time that actually worked, but this time not gonna pay off. Goes to the mid, good call for Shinblade. That, that's what I'm talking about. He made that adjustment in real time because he was going to do the normal uh, shoulder, but because she was an AOP, he transitioned and went to the mid. But jumping yeah, over, you... peeling, yeah. looking good. One more hit should be enough to close it out. Can he get that one hit, though? Shinblade really putting <laughs> things into perspective, but nope. There we go, peeling, tying things up. Yeah, the heat smash from from Zhao Yu, really annoying. What on earth is this man on? He is whip punishing really nicely right now with these uh, these Lionheart tubes. 
Still I mean, that's most of for. Steve's game plan right there. Yeah, and he's been trying. I think he's gonna try to go for clinch right here, but he's trying to be a little bit more careful, nope. knowing that. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so you try to go for the for the uh, clinch, but Zhao Yu can go into AOP at any point in time. So you want to yeah. be a little bit more cautious with your highs and mids, because some mids actually will miss. And Hypnotist does uh, recharge your heat, so you gotta actually interrupt there. Low. No, he goes with the mid. I I ducked too. Don't worry, Shin. <laughs> Spring kick not gonna pay off this time. Talk to the shoulder, buddy. Yeah, Steve and Shinblade did some good work with the spring kick the first game, so you could see Pingling Peeling kind of expecting it that time. That's what I've been talking about, what we've been discussing with not going to the same well too often, not pulling out the same tool every wow. time. She punch buried the, the rocket launcher right there. Mm. Oh, Catching waning move! Not gonna get broken! This might be dead! She's still got heat! Oh, no, not enough damage! If he popped heat, he would've been dead! Back off. Goes for the heat oh, engage. he swung into the string. One, two, one. I fall for that one all the time. She could delay. Uh, Peeling especially likes to delay that string pretty long on. And tying the setup right now. One game apiece. Yeah, what a read from Peeling, who was really sitting on that and waiting for Shinblade to swing. Clearly had that in mind from the moment the round started. Now, and, and like I said, that stage was, would have probably benefited Shinblade more that it was the wide open stage. He can backdash, he can go into Lionheart a little bit easier, not having to deal with, you know, backs to the wall. But now, I mean, are we going to get a really enclosed stage? I mean, is that going to benefit Peeling or is that going to benefit Shinblade more? Shinblade's been doing some good stuff up against the wall, but Peeling might appreciate the less room for Get Shinblade for to force space, battle. less room for Shinblade to back off and make Peeling come in. Right. Got Sanctum going. What do you think of that pick? Um, well, I mean, it, it was this random, is definitely but, the know. closer stage that we're talking about. Mm. Round but uh, not sure who's going to benefit now because at this point, it's anybody's game. One game apiece. It all, it's basically first to one right here to go on to winner's finals. Good with punishment right now. We were talking about how evenly matched oh. these two are, and the set is definitely bearing that out so far. Oh, dang. That was weird. Normally, that clean wall spot, so I don't know why they didn't that time. They actually put a low wall spot and put her immediately on the ground. Hypnotist mid, both of their heats about to expire. Just kidding. It was only inch feelings. Oh, combo conversion. Caught the airborne, so he's actually get a full combo. Uh uh. Got the wall spot. Can't put him through, but the machine gun blows are there. Catches him on the wall to the side. The Patellus match smashes it. And right now, another round closer to winner's finals comes Shinblade, who's really been doing a good job at figuring out where Peeling wants to go. Ooh. Goes under the throw. Nope a dope. Down to one. Sonic Fang. Ooh, ducks the dirty boxy, but no launch. Could definitely launch right there. Caught you airborne. Peeling full combo conversion. Incoming. Should be able to find it. Yep. Clean the wall splat. Master of the arts. The art of Phoenix, that is. Hypnotist low. You gotta stand up. Ah, oh, see that mid low is very deceptive because she can cancel at any point in time and go straight into heat smash. One round of peace here. Yeah, the question is, is Peeling going to that too often? The shoulders here for Shinblade, able to force this Whoa! fight into the pocket, where Steve is much better than Xiaoyu, forcing things up into the wall. Got the machine gun blows going. Good stuff. Up, Rocket launcher. There, still Armor is going to work. No, inside wall splat. Wow, super unfortunate. You have to tech roll there. If not, she can get the pickup. Hypnotist goes to the mid. No more playing around. Whip punish. Avoids the heat. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. That's super what important. That should have been Shinblade's round, but now it isn't peeling on set point. Yeah, just oh, an instant world. whiff punish there. What a time for that read. Gets the motion going. Had to have read that frame oh. in advance. Can't react to no. that wall. And here Shinblade goes up against the wall, caught in a corner like a boxer on the ropes. Here comes the perfect, and the round is over. The set is over. Peeling, winner's final. He said, get these Steves out of here, man. That was a crazy interaction right there. That sidestep, the evasion, going straight into the heat smash. Even if that didn't kill, he would have been able to go straight into hypnotist. It would have been another 50-50 mix. And Peeling was phenomenal with these hypnotist stances, man. Amazing, amazing comeback. Again, we counted Peeling out just like against the Ryan Higa match. We counted Peeling out. He had two perfects, you know, back. And what do you know? Peeling, clutching it up again. This dude is phenomenal. That's Peeling for you, always able to make the adjustment and make the comeback. And even when Peeling doesn't win, 
his opponent knows he's been in a fight. He's coming out of that match feeling it. Wow. What a comeback. Again, I, I thought that game was surely going over uh, to Shinblade right there. Uh, even the set. I, I did put a lot of my points on right there. So congrats whoever voted on P-Link because you're going to get a lot of my points uh, <laughs> in the uh, bets. But look at that winner's finals. Hard Tech and P-Link. Great that stuff. That is going to be... Whew. Yeah, definitely go get some popcorn. We're about to take a three-minute break. Uh, get some popcorn, get a drink, get comfy, because that's going to be one hell of a Tekken game. You do not want to miss a second.